spore is nothing but it is a single celled it may be either single cell or it may be multi cell reproductive part so what it is called as it is a single cell or several cell reproductive part and which is formed from the parent body then what do we call as spore so what is spore means spore is a single or several cell either it is made up of a single cell or it may be made up of many cells so single or several cell reproductive part which is developed from the parent so a single cell or several cell reproductive part which is developed from the parent body and what do we call as a spore is called spore so these spores develops into spores it develops into new individual that's why this method is called as spore formation so what is spore formation means the single or several cell reproductive parts that are developed from the parent body and later on they develops into new individual that process what we call as spore formation if you observe these spores are unicellular that's what we say they may be single cell understand so unicellular these are the unicellular and they are light and easily dispersed by the air and water there are unicellular bodies there are unicellular bodies and which can easily carry by the air and water due to the light in weight and if you observe each spore is covered by a protective membrane called as chitin each spore is covered or protected by a protective membrane what do we call as chitin so chitin is a protective membrane a protective structure that is found around the spore if you have said during the development of fungus like rhizopus so during development of fungus are found in like rhizopus during the development of fungi like rhizopus it produces a bulb like structure developed from the hyphae and called as what it is called is sporangium so how it is see So, in such 
inside the sporangium. The nucleus undergoes repeated cell division. Sorry, repeated nucleus division. So, what is happening here? The nucleus divides into many nuclei. So, what is happening here? The nucleus undergoes repeated division to form nuclei. So, nucleus divides to form nuclei which is surrounded by some amount of cytoplasm surrounded by some amount of cytoplasm so what do we call as spore understand so this develops into to form spore which is forms as a spores. Now inside of this sporangia, what it is having? Spores are present. It is consisting of a unicellular structures called as spores that are found in the sporangia. So if the sporangia is burst or it break off, what is happening here? These sporangia once break off, the spores are released out of it. And into the A. The spores are released into the A and they fall on the food particles. These are the spores which are produced now. These spores they are formed or fall onto the food or land. Under favorable condition, the protective membrane, what we call as chitinase, break off. And allows it to develop into new organism. It develops into new organism. That's what the spores are released into the plane to land on food or land which develop into. new individual that's why you can see that the development of new visual is going to occur through the spore formation that's why the spore formation is also one of the method of asexual reproduction under that spore formation what is a spore spore is nothing but single or several cell reproductive part which is developed from the parent and develops into the individual is called as spore formation. And these spores, which are light and unicellular, which are easily carried or dispersed by the air and water. So, for example, during the development of fungi called as rhizopus or bread mold, there is a bulb like structure is developing. There is a bulb like structure is developing on the hyphae. These filamentous structures, what it is called as hyphae, and this bulb like structure is called as sporangia. In the sporangia, the nucleus undergoes repeated cell division to form many nuclei. Each nuclei in turn surrounded by the cytoplasm. It is surrounded by the cytoplasm under favorable condition. Under favorable condition, the sporangia is releasing the spores. These spores are released into the air on which they can land on foot or land and they can germinate and develop into new individual. That's what this process what we call as spore formation. But it is called as spore formation. This is what another important concept. Now let us see another method of asexual reproduction is budding method. So first of all, what is bud we have to see? Budding method. So what is bud? The process in which production of new individuals by 
inside and outside growth on the parent body. So what is happening here? There is a development of new organism from the parent body by the development of small bulb-like structure or bud-like structure. And that type of process what we call as a budding method. So under budding method, so what is happening here? The production of new organism by outgrowth or ingrowth of the parent body to give rise to give rise to new individual is called budding. So, what is budding means? The production of new organisms. How the organisms are produced? By outgrowth, outside growth on the parent or inside growth, inside growing a bulb like section in the parent body and which gives rise to new individual. And what do we call as a budding method. What it is called as budding method. So these buds are formed by the repeated cell division at the specific site of the parent body. So the bud is developed by the repeated cell division and form at a specific site of the parent body. So, how these buds are found means due to the repeated cell division and this process very occurs at a specific point at a particular site where the cells are matured. At a particular site, the cells undergo repeated division and develops a bud or bulb like structure. That's why it is called as a budding method. So after development of the bud, it grows, develops and get mature. After maturation of this bud, detachment is separate from the parent body. So after attaining Certain size the bud detach and develop into new individual. Develops into new individual. That's what we can see that new individuals are going to be formed by the process of budding method. This can be observed in case of hydra. How the hydra is able to produce the new individuals by budding method. So, example, it occurs in multicellular, simple multicellular organism called hydra. So, hydra. Hydra, from the hydra, what we said at a specific site, at a specific site, there is a development of bulb or bud like structure. This bud or bulb which is found in hydra is called as protuberance. What it is called as? Protuberance by the repeated cell division. By the repeated cell division, this bud develops Starts 
repeating to divide and develop into size. So this bud up at the free side. This is a free end. At the free side, it develops a small opening called as a mouth actually is called hypostome. It develops a mouth like structure. What it is called hypostome. And also you can see some other structures called as tentacles. What do we call as a tentacles? These tentacles will see the locomotion. They help see the locomotion. So the protuberates or bud will develop by the repeated cell division and it attains a certain size. During the time of obtaining a certain size, at the free end, this is the free side of the bud, it develops a hypostome, which is also called as a mouth on its surface. We can see the development of tentacles. These tentacles end in the locomotion. So after attaining certain size, what we said, the bulb is detached. Another method of asexual reproduction. 